riding in the mountains and it's and it's fall and it's windy <laughs> and uh, the mud puddles are all frozen. This is this is a pretty good setup. It was a little too windy up there, so I came down here in the woods so I could actually talk to you guys and you could hear what I was saying. So this is what I'm saying. Moscow Motor sent me a uh, Prospector jacket and a new pair of uh, Woodsman Enduro pants. This is like the second, I believe the second iteration or the third. I, I still have the original uh, Woodsman pants and I love them. Uh, They're awesome. They're awesome adventure pants. They're really light adventure pants. But if you're going to do like trail riding, they're a little heavy. They're kind of hot. So for today, where the puddles are frozen over and there's snow in the shade, it's in the 40s, 50s. Again, this being Colorado, as soon as you're out of the sun, you know what the temperature actually is. Um, they work really good for that. I wouldn't wear them for desert pants unless it's snowing out. So they're a little warm. But what that gets you is the shoulder fabric is actually water proof although it's kind of if i understand this is a low rating and they breathe really well uh, they're still kind of warm uh, big cargo pockets again they, they just changed a couple things on the cut um, from the old woodsman pants uh, and then they have the vents right vents on either side and exhaust vents and you can see i i may have hit the ground once or twice today so the woodsman pants Let's, let's make this a real short review. Go watch my other review and then come back. And then, by the way, these are so much better. They're so much more comfy. They ride higher. They hug your hips the way pants should. They're not, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. They're not, okay. They're not that. Uh, they actually fit super well. And I can tell you from my other set that the, the knees and the leather patches on the inside are super burly they will stand up to a lot of abuse. Uh, today, when I started off, it was pretty cold. They were perfect. Now it's getting a little warm, but it's still, I don't know, 50, 60. So all I gotta do is throw the vents open and they're great. These are really awesome trail adventure pants, uh, enduro touring pants. The Proteus jacket, basically this is just a, it's a soft shell. It's super, this thing is insanely stretchy. It is DWR treated. Um, I actually don't know that much about it. I just got it yesterday and uh, I had to throw it on real quick. Uh, it's insanely lightweight. It's stretchy. It's got a nice collar that kind of hugs you. It doesn't flap in the wind. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a soft shell made for motorcycles. It has a media pocket. You can put your cell phone in there. It has another um, chest pocket, which is where I put my cell phone in here it's got two big hand pockets which are pretty big pretty mongrel all right uh the pockets work great i went down on this i landed on my elbow uh in the rocks and and it's dirty but there are no holes this material and that's one thing not everybody will tell you about the material on this is is like really thin soft shell material um the cut is amazing it has these little vents in the back so the air flows through uh the air does flow through it it is not windproof uh, again this is more like a lightweight trail jacket where today is a perfect example i do not need to be wearing this now in the sunshine uh, but when I started out this morning, it was kind of cold. I had my thicker gloves on, uh, had my buff up over my face. Uh, and now when I take this off, all right, I'm going to say it rolls up to bottle, Nalgene bottle size. I could maybe squish it a little bit more, uh, but it packs down pretty small. Uh, I, I, I know you guys all know about Moscomoto, and you know I'm a fanboy. When I was a mountaineer and when I was climbing uh, and working for uh, Aspen Mountain Rescue, I loved Arc'teryx because they made stuff with no apologies. You know, $500 for 
a t-shirt what's that all about <laughs> okay that, that's an exaggeration but you see where I'm going uh, with it and then you would put that t-shirt on and it would last for 10 years be stink free be the same color uh, 10 years later as when you bought it their stuff is just no apologies the best materials and fabrication money can buy and Moscow Moto has the same attitude um, all their stuff is absolutely 100% bomb proof and they also have the return policy if you blow something up on a crash or whatever you're gonna have to talk to the warranty department uh, but a lot of times they'll they'll replace whatever it is you ruined uh, for free so that's also part of the cost so again shoulder fabric not cheap stuff very very tough stuff um, it breathes and everything moves with you and everything's cut uh, for riding right things don't ride up things stay where they're supposed to um, I usually wear a large I actually have a chest protector on underneath I believe this is a large yeah this is a large so this fits me perfect over top of everything and this is <laughs> funny enough this combo other than the boots, like if I put this on with these pants, now these pants are a little, um, you know, a little Swedish looking, but I could uh, I could go out for coffee and people wouldn't look at me funny. Not that I care if they look at me funny, but but you would look like a normal human being. Um, let's see, what do I want? I have to complain about something. Okay, number one, I don't wear black stuff. So I'm going to complain that even though this color black is actually pretty cool, I don't know if it's going to show up. But it's, it is black, but it's not like a deep black. So that's my complaint about the jacket. It's, uh, it's black. And the pants, this is tobacco. Uh, to me, this is more of a buckskin color, and the black is black is what it is. Uh, the only complaint, maybe the zippers too, move too easy. They haven't opened up yet, but maybe they could. <laughs> I really got nothing bad to say. Uh, these are the in the boot. They also make an over the boot version. Uh, I like in the boot for everything because I want these big rubber pieces right here, right up against my bike so I can hang on better. I need all the help I can get hanging onto my bike. Um, all right, so that's it. Prospector, Woodsman, thank you, Moscomoto. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, don't ask me, I don't know anything. <laughs> Go talk to Moscow Moto. They would be happy to tell you exactly what weight, shoulder, stretch, per millimeter, whatever rating is on this jacket. I, I have no clue. I can just tell you that it fits me really well. It rides great. It stretches exactly where it needs to. Um, wind comes through it, but not a lot. I'm going to say it breathes well so your sweat goes out. You don't get sticky inside. Uh, on the other hand, if it was truly, truly, truly cold, I would definitely throw another layer on. Uh, right now I have my jersey, my chest protector, and another shirt underneath uh, as a base layer. And I was perfectly fine other than I had to put my gloves on. Uh, anyways, okay, back to the point. Stick to the point, John. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, uh, hit Moscow Moto up. They, they'd be happy to talk to you about who makes the zippers and and it's this are these pockets here really waterproof or not and and how deep are the pockets and I don't know oh and the, and the vents how long are the vents there's the vents if you want to see my butt there it is but there's the vents um yeah they'll tell you all about this stuff All right. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm uh, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go find a cheeseburger. Okay. See what I look like. Yeah, a little pure red.